MVP Derrick Rose, man. MVP Derrick Rose was a monster, man. He had amazing finishing, was one of the fastest PGs ever, and his acrobatic ability made him unstoppable, man. Look as he finishes over LeBron and D-Wade. So in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to make a Derrick Rose build, and we're going to give him 99 layup. And also give him Hall of Fame Acrobat. As you see right here, he's going to have a 99 layup. And we're going to be able to just do jelly layups and all the good stuff. And exploit Hall of Fame Acrobat, which a lot of people are asleep on. But I'm about to wake y'all up in this video. A lot of y'all ain't hip, so this is how you make the build. You make him a point guard, right hand, number one. 6'3", 170, 7 foot wingspan is what I put him. And this is the stats layup, man. So finishing is going to be 85, 99, 86. His three-pointer is going to be like a 79, 76. Ball handle 89, not too much D, and then at 95 acceleration, you're going to do slashing and sharp. Why not? You know what I'm saying? So you can have kind of a duo scoring ability, and it's going to give you just a slasher. Your name is just a slasher. So, hey, it's about what d Rose was. He was a slasher, and he was unstoppable at that slasher position. What we finna do? We finna take this d Rose MVP build straight to the 1v1s and go crazy. We got the 99 Acrobat Layup D Rose out here, man. He's a slasher, like I told you. I went ahead and upgraded him. And guess who my opponent was? Doug Morant, man. We going against Doug Morant yeah. off rip. So we know yeah. it's the battle of the athletic point guard, man. In the comments right now, we got to go into it. Who's the better player, D Rose or Prime Ja? I don't even know if this is Prime Ja right now, but let's say this is Prime Ja. All right, let's say this is the best version of Ja we're going to get. Who's the best d rose at his prime or jaw right now you know what i'm saying now jaw could get better but we're gonna go if he if he stopped playing right now that should trigger interest in debate in the comments so starting off i'm trying to do layups man as you see we get takeover basically i'm just trying to finish over john moran and make sure i try to activate all this hall of fame acrobat you know what i'm saying look at that wow yeah. look at these look at that look how easy that is and i told y'all hall of fame acrobat is op now this is the experiment right here. Now look at this in slow motion. Look at look how pretty that was. Woohoo! Look at that jelly layup. Look how pretty that was. Yeah, he can't jaw can't mess with D Rose. He's too fast. Now I know the back of his jersey say George A, but we're gonna ignore that. Look at look at this. Look at that. Mm. We doing all jelly, no peanut butter out here, man. Look at this. Now look at it. The floater. That's gonna throw him off. I knew that one would throw him off, and it did. John ja Morant did not expect. That I was gonna do the floater. I'm telling you, I'm trying to do all layups. Yes, I can do limitless takeoffs every play and shoot threes, but we're trying to do layups all video. Now, so the whole point was for me to do layups. So I'm up 18 and 9. Very easy game right now. So what I'm gonna do, guess what? I'm just keep trying to lay up on him. And Bruh. actually, it's working because I don't really got a big dummy in the paint. I have somebody bought my height. So because I got somebody bought my height, it's, it's even easier. Look at this. Just throwing up layup. Just throwing up and ones all over the place. You know he fouling too. Throwing up and one. Look, we got another guard by my height, and I hit him with a pump fake wow. on the hop step and got him, bro. And I'm telling you, bro, this build actually is fun to use, man. Y'all should all make y'all 99 acrobat uh, build if you got the money. Now, now, I understand if you don't because this game is very priced. Now, look at this. Woo! Too fast. Too fast, and he cannot stop the layup, 99 driving layup of Derrick Rose. I go ahead and do a limitless takeoff on that one because he gave me a lot of space, and I just kind of want to get takeover real quick. Because these layups are much easier to finish when I have takeover. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I throw another wow. little layup. He don't get the block because I do it nice and smooth. And now we got takeover again. So you know what we finna do now. We finna attempt it again. He runs up too much. I don't know why. And I throw a little floater. The next possession, I, same thing. I do a little another layup. I actually missed that one. Get my rebound. He jumping. I take it back out. He's just going to stand there for a moment. So I'm like, you going to disrespect me? You disrespect eyes drop. And we green it, you know, so you can't, don't disrespect me, you know what I'm saying? I throw another layup, but that's buckets too. So we just having a ball right now. D. Rose having a ball, just throwing up all these layups. I have to go ahead and switch it up on him, throw a dunk on him, just to confuse him. But guess what? We just going to keep scoring. I might do another dunk. Why not? Because he's just leaving it open. He's just leaving it open at this point. I try to do a, another fancy layup. He actually blocks it. But just to troll, I run back out here and I tempt it again. Wow. I get it off. And that game's over too, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's too easy out here. It's way too easy. Now we got a taller dude. So now we like, hmm, this might be a little interesting now. Because he look like he got some height on. He look like he about 6'9". But it don't matter because we're going to do the same thing. He off the rip sleeping. First possession. I'll go ahead and take a quick dunk because, hey, why not? Why not? I'm trying to get that takeover meter up. The higher the takeover, the easier the acrobatic layups. Because it gets a little bit harder after 
after that. So I go ahead and size them up, dribbling, run to the hole, and I go ahead and do another dunk. I'm the next position, he thinks I'm finna Bruh. dunk. I said I do a hop step, throw him oh. off, and I complete the hop step layup, which is still Hall of Fame acrobat. So it all matters, you know what I'm saying? Another hop step layup. All hop step layups count as acrobats. It's in the description of it, you know what I'm saying? So as you see right there on the top of the screen, it popped up. But all you have to do is just do hop steps, euros. Literally, all you do hop step, euros, and it pop up. Look at this. You don't know what to do. He way bigger than me. I'm shocked this is actually working. I'm shocked that hop step actually working this game. Let me find out this 2K20 again. So I hit him with a speed boost, really fast speed, but he couldn't even keep up. I'm like, yo, this build fast. What the? He couldn't even keep up. You know what I said? Look, I hit him with the little stop and eeroom. Once again, I hit him with the euro. Oh! Woohoohoohoo. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all need to try it out, man. This mug was not, this mug was not what I expected. That mug is actually pretty good, man. I actually missed that one, but get my own rebound. I know he's mad. I know he's mad. So he's sitting up there kind of mad, trying to figure out what he's going to do. And I wait for him to run up, and I just dunk it on him. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I just wait for him to run up. But he ends up getting a stop eventually. So I go ahead and give him a chance. He misses his only chance. You see this, man? He missed his only chance. He fouled me. You know, he broke his control. He's pissed. He's like, Argh! he over spamming square. And look, look, he ain't turned the game off. He's like, I'm going 2K22. It's more realistic than this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, more realistic with Sniper and all that stuff. So I'm going against an AI now, and I just dunk on the AI. Get that AI up out of here, man. Get that AI up, up out of here. You know what I'm saying? But for the final game, here you go, man. Y'all wanted a bigger build. There you go. This was also, actually, he's not that much bigger. He's like about 6'7", 6'8"-ish. So this is another big build, and he looked kind of weirder. You know what I'm saying? He looked like a standard... Bruh. Player, Bruh. we bought the same overall. Before you say you're only playing bots, I'm a bot. I'm an 89. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm, I'm like y'all like I'm a 99 out here. But I go ahead and drive it on him a few times because I know he ain't gonna stop it. You know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I already know he ain't gonna stop it. Too fast, way too fast. D Rose way too fast. Even though it says George James on the back, my takeoff is just too quick. It's too quick for him to react. And I'm a little bill, so he has to respect the three. Because as you know, most little bills can shoot. And you don't really want to gamble with a little bill like this because if you, you know, you know what I'm saying, you just don't want to. I take it up. He actually blocks it that time. I think he's starting to figure out my pattern. He actually stops it. And I'm like, oh, he figured it out. All right, buddy. I give you the shot. He actually greens it. I'm like, uh-oh. Hold on. Uh-oh. He greened it. And I'm messing up. I'm three or six this game, messing up. I go and give him the second shot. I'm like, you ain't gonna do it again, no. You ain't gonna do it again. He's doing all that. He shoot it and he greet it again. I'm like, oh. And he greets it a third time. I'm like, oh. But the fourth, there you go. See, you gotta trust the process. You gotta trust the pro. Oh, but he steals it. As you see, what process? I got the ball stolen, but I noticed he did the look. The little stumble when you run out of things, you know what I'm saying? So I push him out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? Legally. I legally push him out of bounds. And now I know I can't get this dude the ball, but this dude locked in, bro. This dude will mess around and green the rest of his shots. So I can't give it to him. I can't give it to him. So now I'm just using my speed. I ain't really doing worried about no acrobat no more. I'm like, nah, I'm winning this game, bro. Because I mess around with acrobat on him. I might, if I miss, then I got to guard that stuff again. So this one, I was a little more safe. Wow. I just started doing hop steps, which is, hey, y'all, y'all would be shocked how well hop steps work in this game. I don't see it enough. I was shocked how well it was working. That mug was pretty consistent because they don't know when you're going to basically bring it up. But dude, try to attempt to steal. I get it back. He jumps, and I lay it up. You know what I'm saying? Bell out. Bruh. W Bell out 2K. Bruh. W Bell out. And that activates takeover. Boy, y'all know I got bailed out right there. He should have stole that. And now I'm, like, super fast. I can do that little stumble thing again. You know what I'm saying? Like I did the last game before. Wobble fake, go right, and then zip left. Too fast. Too fast. He's 6, 8, 6, 9. He cannot guard that. He can't guard me no more. I'm way too fast. Especially when you combine slasher and sharp, your speed with ball flies up, and your athleticism flies up. So now you're just too fast, bro. You're literally too fast. They can't keep up with you. He gets another steal attempt, but guess what? No, no, no! 2K is on my side today. Yes, sir. 2K is on my side. I know he mad, but I. That's not my fault. That's all 2K and not me, man. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what else y'all want to see. Y'all want to see some next gen, man. Type hashtag next gen in the comment section, and I might start giving y'all some next gen gameplay. Cause I think y'all got y'all PS5s now, right? Y'all, y'all got the PS5s, right? I hope y'all do, man. 
Shoot. To next video. I'll see y'all then, man. Peace.